Okay, so this device is the Ease Cracker and it's anything but easy to crack eggs with this. Basically the idea is it'll crack open the egg and separate the yolk all in one move, which is a nice idea. But the problem is once you put the egg inside and you press it, nothing happens because that little blade that's supposed to go in doesn't go in. And then it's supposed to separate the egg like that, but it doesn't, it's not capable of doing that. Basically because the pieces it's made out of are plastic and they bend and flex. So because they use cheap quality materials, this machine doesn't work. If they had been using say metal or something that doesn't have any flex, then this would be a great device. Now the eggs I'm using here are medium sized eggs, so they have no chance whatsoever. But even with a large egg like this one, it just doesn't seem to do it. It seems to want to do it, but it just doesn't seem to do it. Maybe with an ostrich egg it might work, but I don't have one of those. Now, if you want to crack an egg, just simply hit it on the side of a bowl. Then you grip it on both sides with your fingers and just pull it apart just like this. And then if you want to separate the yolk from the whites, just take a spoon and just scoop it up. It's the easiest method. It doesn't take any special equipment at all, and it works every single time. There you go, beautiful yolk separated and the whites in the bowl. You don't need the easy egg cracker thingy. Don't get it. So this is a strange device. When you turn it on, it starts to vibrate and it's got three different vibration settings. And from what I understand, this thing vibrates stronger than a toy that's designed to vibrate. Now, I'm not going to mention which toy because I don't want this channel to be demonetized, but basically this is a very strong vibrating kitchen gadget. Let's put it that way. Now, once you turn it off, you can place it into its docking station thing and it completes the gadget. And when you turn it on, it starts to spin like this. And like I said, it's got three different settings. So it goes faster and faster and super fast. And the idea here is that it will stir your sauce so you don't have to. So basically just turn it on and leave it to stir and you can go do other things. And that's a good idea, but does it work? So to test that, we're gonna take some sauces that went off in 2013, place them into a pot, add a little bit of cream so we can see what's going on and see if this gadget does its job. Now I'm gonna turn this heat on just to simulate like we're cooking and I'm gonna place this gadget into it and turn it on. Now I've left it on for quite a while and all it seems to do is just mix this little circular pattern in the center but it leaves the outer edges and core untouched. And that is because basically it's got a very small little mixer scoopy thing at the bottom here and when it turns it doesn't seem to cover the entire size of the pot. So they should have probably made this bigger but that's not my biggest issue with this, besides the fact that it doesn't do its job to stir the pot, uh, it also vibrates plastic against a hot metal surface. And I just don't think that that's going to be very healthy over the long term. I can just imagine that all that friction and heat is just going to release little bits of plastic into your sauce, which is something I don't want. And personally, I don't think you get this machine. All right, so pizza cutting scissors. Is this a good gadget, yes or no? Basically, they're big scissors that you're supposed to use to cut your pizza with a sort of pizza platform stuck to it. So you can only use these scissors for one thing and that's pizza cutting. So let's give it a try. Here's a recently cooked pizza, pepperoni, spicy. And I'm just gonna cut, but I can't cut that way. I guess I gotta turn it this way. And I'm gonna try to cut a slice, okay. It didn't cut all the way to join, but that, I guess that could be my fault, but this feels like it's taking a lot longer than usually with a different device. So, I mean, let's try another slice. The problem is you gotta keep turning this pizza if it's in a box. And then you try, you try to get a slice, but it's like the end part doesn't look so good and it's just a pain. You gotta lift every slice up before you cut it. I know of another device that's much better than this. It was invented a long time ago and it looks kind of like this. And it's called a pizza roller. It's been working for quite a long time and it's proven. Let's just give it a little try. This is a Parma ham pizza, delicious, uh, with a little bit of extra spice. 
and you could easily cut this with a pizza roller. Of course we know we can cut this with a pizza roller, but I bet you I could cut three to four pizzas with a pizza roller by the time that someone cuts one with that strange pizza scissor device. So what we've proven here is that that gadget is useless and that the pizza roller just works. So just get one of these, you can get them anywhere, they're cheap and they work. And forget about this pizza slicing scissor thing, don't get that. So the toast bags. This is a very interesting gadget. Basically it's a heat proof baggie that you can place your sandwiches in and then just toast them in your toaster. So let's give it a little try. We've got some white bread. I know a few of you might not like that. We're gonna put some cheese onto each side and then a little bit of beautifully cut ham. Now, I'm going to place this onto the other side. Now you can do a, a much more complicated sandwich, but this is gonna be a very simple sandwich. You can put spices in there, tomato, and go wild with it. Anyway, just place it into the bag, which always doesn't seem to fit, even though this is a very simple sandwich with the minimum amount of ingredients. It will be a difficult to get in there. They should have really made this bag just a little bit bigger, but that's not my issue with this bag. Anyway, now that it's in the bag, you place it into the toaster and then you just turn it on. Now be careful not to leave it in there too long because it will burn the outside. But if you leave it just the right amount of time, it will come out just perfectly. So, ah, it's ready. Okay, let's take it out of the baggie. And as you'll see, the cheese is nice and melted. The outside is golden brown. It looks beautiful. And let's just cut it up and see one of these slices. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All good. Well, the problem I have is I've used this bag or the other one quite a lot and suddenly there seemed to have been a little hole burnt into it. And this made me think, how safe is this? Because if it can burn a hole through this material, then what kind of chemicals are leaching into my food when I toast in this weird bag that I don't know what it's made of? So that's why I can't recommend this gadget. Don't get this, it seems unsafe to use to me. Okay, this here is the Egg Vertigo. Also, they have different ones called uh, the Egg Rolly. I think they're all equally terrible. Basically, the way it, it works is you, they tell you to spray oil into it, and then it heats up, and you can put your eggs inside. Now, it only does basically one thing, which is cooking eggs. I, I don't think it can do much more. And it does that pretty badly. Let's just crack some eggs into it. This is what the instructions say. Just spray oil into it, drop two eggs in there, and then let it cook for like seven to eight minutes. So once you place the eggs in there, it starts to cook them. I just can't believe that this has been thought of, created and then manufactured. It's just such a strange device. Anyway, once the eggs start to become cooked, they'll be pushed out from the top. To be honest, this has failed many times. I think I've wasted 25 eggs more or less, maybe a bit more, 30, just because of this machine doing some weird things. Like sometimes the top is uncooked and it just like spills out the sides. Anyway, this is its uh, pièce de résistance. This is what it does, it's what makes it special. It pushes the egg out like that. And then when it's done, it seems to just break apart. Uh, I'm sure you could probably try to keep it together, but it's just, it's such a sad thing to have this like this. I, I don't see the point of this machine. I could think of 20 better ways to cook an egg than this. And I'm all for innovation and creating new ideas, but this is just, it's just not good at all. I don't know why this was created. I am sad that people buy this and I'm sad that someone's selling this. So my advice is don't get this machine. 